Good morning, everyone. As we keep developing our plans for our future building project, our architect and his team are wanting to hear from everyone who is working in different areas of ministry here at Grace. We have a survey on our website that we would love for you to fill out, just helping our architect and helping us know what you think would work best in your area of ministry. We look forward to the things that are unfolding in the next upcoming months. This Wednesday, December 9th, we are having our Effect Christmas party over at the Youth House from 6 to 8 p.m. We would love to see our junior hires and our senior hires there wearing their best ugly Christmas sweater or their favorite pair of Christmas pajamas. It's going to be a great night and we would love to see you there. Today we are going to be reading 1 Peter 4, verses 12 through 19. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings that you may also rejoice and be glad when His glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. Yet if anyone suffers as, as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God, and if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous is scarcely saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to a faithful creator while doing good.